Miami GP. Miami GP. T tell me a little bit uh, about that and what you experienced there uh, hanging out with your brothers in the Formula One team. Uh, so, hectic. Uh, awesome to see the interest that people have in Formula One. Um, stacked with celebrities. I think, I don't think I've ever seen a race with so many celebrities. It was insane. It was also Miami, so I guess you'd expect it, but um, I mean, it's crazy how these guys, talking about F1, every race they go to is like a 500 for them. It's, they, every race, every market they go to is like a Super Bowl, which uh, is freaking badass. And I think they've, they've unlocked what the Americans like, which is they like a party and a race going on, um, which is kind of what a 500 is, right? I mean, it's, it's obviously a massive race, but people come and they want to party, man. They, they, want, to, they want to have fun. And, and I think that's why F1 is just growing immensely because Every, every, you know, everywhere you go, it's always a huge like music festival, and, and, and it's always the place to be in in wherever they're at. Um, so, so how do we learn from that here? Do we just make it? Do we do a big party at Barber? I mean, like, do what do we do here that they're you know? How do we translate a little bit of what's successful in Formula One here? Man, it's a hard it's 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 a hard balance because. At the end of the day, it's a business model, right? You need it to make sense. You need it to make mon you know, money and make sense. Um, it's tough. It, it's, I don't know the, finan the financials in IndyCar. If you have an unlimited budget, what do you do? Uh, I do everything that Formula One is doing. I mean, because they have, they have done something right in the US because, man, people that have no idea about race cars are apparently now experts because they watched Drive to Survive. Um, and people are going to go, like people go to the races and yeah, they enjoy cars, but they go see their favorite, basically actor now racing race cars. Like, so that's what's selling. And I think that's why you see so many young people. And I've seen a massive difference in the, in the female market where I mean, girls usually, it's like, you know, what do you do? I race cars. But now you say, I'm a Formula One driver, and it's like, it's, every, everything's like, oh, I watched the show, yes, blah, blah, blah. So, is your perception? What do, we do? I don't know. I, I really, I really don't know because I don't, I don't make those calls, man. I, I don't make those calls. Um, I'm just one of the clowns in the circus, right? So, no, no, you're not. You're the star. But it's hard for me to make one of those decisions because I'm not the one that, you know, if something goes wrong or if, if it doesn't come a success, I'm not the one that pays out of pocket. It's just there's so many things that, that you need to take into account. And I know IndyCar is doing uh, everything they can to, 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 you know, to get onto the momentum and, and, and grow it more. Um, but everything's on socials now. Everything's on socials. The more we can do to show it to people and show people that there's real humans behind these race cars and people get a connection with their favorite driver, that just, that's gonna make it grow. Like, it's, it's gonna make it grow. And if we do it, it has to be in a platform where people already can access it. It can't be in a platform where people go and say, uh, or you gotta go somewhere and pay for a new platform to watch it. People won't do that. You know, Netflix, HBO, Amazon Prime. You, you need one of those big, big heavy hitters to kind of put it in front of people's eyes and people will be like scrolling through, be like, I'm bored, let's watch this. And then they'll start watching it, they'll get hooked and they'll like it. Um, but, but I think that's the biggest key. If we do something like The Drive to Survive, or a bit of what kind of what F1 has, or what has worked for Formula One recently, is we need to go all in. And when I do something, I go all in. I never go halfway. And and that's the most important thing I think that we have to do is that we need to go all in to make sure it's a success. And it's gonna be a success. 
but it might take you know it might take some some investing here and there but i think it, overall in the long run it's gonna pay off because it's gonna grow and people are gonna they're gonna enjoy coming to the races because they have a connection i mean that that's probably the best outtake i had from it i mean like no i mean it sounds terrible but like like many people have asked me like hey wh like what do you do and I'll be like, oh, you know, I, I, I'm an IndyCar driver. Have you, you know, are you familiar with IndyCar? And, uh, and they'll say, um, oh, yeah, isn't it just one race? And it's like, no, we have 16 more. Um, so, like, the 500 is huge. Always will be. Always will be the best race in the world because it's massive. And it's a huge party, right? Oh, yeah. Um, but we need to find a way to get the whole championship to be something that people want to go and travel to. And I don't know what the solution is. I, I really don't know what it is. Um, like, I mean, I can go into it. We can talk about it for hours. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, both series are so different. And, you know, I, I think the fan experience for IndyCar, for the IndyCar fan, is awesome because you can go right up to the drivers. You can go right up to the car. But I think also in F1, it's so closed off, but it makes it so much more special whenever a fan does get with a driver or does get to go and, and, and see the car because there's, there's this like invisible wall that makes, it's the, it's the saying, right? You always want what you can't have. And, it, and, and I think that's what, that makes the hype just so huge when they see a driver, when they see a team bus, when they see the cars, is because it's it's a very special and a very uh, prestigious group, circle of people that are able to be there. And I think that's what makes it so desired. Um, should IndyCar do that? I don't know, I'm not the one to ask. Um, but I do think is that, you know, the racing product that we have in IndyCar is the best in the world. Yeah. Um, and we need to find ways to exploit it. And I just, I don't know what the answer is, man. I really don't. But uh, I'm doing everything in my power to, to, to help. And, and I, think, I think our team, Aaron McLaren SP and McLaren, are a great example to what, you know, what we're doing and what we should be doing is, is, is show, show the behind the scenes, show the real people behind the cars, the mechanics, the engineers, the drivers, the, the, like show the real life behind being a racing driver or you know traveling around the world in, in the IndyCar circuit. It's, that's what people like to see, I think. Uh, like whenever I don't know a sport and I get to see the behind the scenes or like um, of what goes on that's not racing or I guess for preparations, Man, it's it's awesome because you 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 see you see the human side of it, and I think that's what makes it connect. I don't know what you think. What do you I think? mean, I think you're absolutely right. I mean, that's we've got to, you know, there needs to be some investment somewhere, right? But at the same time, you know, we have got, and, and I agree. You know, you and I, we're, we're trying to do everything we can to get it out in front of people, and I feel like maybe some people aren't doing all that and it's not anything wrong it's just I think some people don't yet know how to connect to that younger audience yet and that will change it's just going to take a little longer to get there you know with IndyCar because you don't have an unlimited budget like Formula One and, and that's what Formula One has that we don't I mean Kyle was showing me F1 TV and, and we were see, eating at Charlie Brown's and he was showing me the app the F1 TV app I'm like holy god it's awesome man I watch it all the time like I'll be I'll be sitting on my couch bored, be like, oh, let's see what F1's doing. And, and you go in, you're watching the practice, you can watch an onboard of anybody throughout the set. Like, there's so many, and like we said, the budgets are different, yeah. everything is different, but I think that I think the answers are there. Yeah. It's just about taking the leap of faith and let's invest and it's gonna work. Well, it's like you said, I mean, you already do the Indy 500, right? So my thought process would be, why can't you at least take a little bit of the Indy 500 and spread it around everywhere? Make every race kind of feel like that. Another thing that that I, I can speak for many of the drivers as well is that 
I think like a like a chart came up or something. There's more countries racing in IndyCar than there are in Formula One. Yeah. Formula One is worldwide. IndyCar is 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 North American. Um, use that. Let's go global, dude. Like we need to go back to Japan. We need to go back to Australia and Mexico. First of all, we need to go to Mexico, and that should that that, that should have been in the calendar now. Because I've done everything in my power in order for that to be a successful, full sold out event, which is gonna be if we end up going there. It's gonna be, um, and we need to do it. We we need to do it, and like I feel like everyone is doing everything they can, but we we we're, we're I don't know. We're we're kind of like getting stuck and and we're not taking those big steps that we need to take as as a series together to to ultimately just make it bigger right yeah you know mclaren's in here it's a uk based team um you know swedish drivers there's people from europe that follow indycar i don't see why a race in uk wouldn't be successful i really don't well we, we've tried it in the past they're telling me to wrap up we're going a little too long the david and pato podcast here but yeah i mean that was great stuff let's talk about this later huh let's do it